What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we actually have a completely different type of video for you. This is going to be a walkthrough through one of the craziest Minecraft adventure maps that I have ever found before. Uh, this is a Harry Potter adventure map as you saw from the title and we're going to be walking through uh, Pivot Drive, Diagon Alley, and heading off to Hogwarts. This is going to be a multi-part series because there is way too much going on in this to put into one video. So if you enjoy these videos, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel because we're going to be putting out a full series on this and we have a ton of other Minecraft content. So be sure to check it all out and enjoy the video. All right, I have not been live commentating this yet, but I have to at this point. This is the most incredible map that I've ever seen, and I did not know something like this was absolutely possible. Um, the amount of work that must have gone into this map is absolutely insane. I don't know where I'm actually supposed to be going right now. Um, I think that's a compass down, down next to my hot bar, so I'm just going to follow that and head this way, and maybe that'll take me to... What I assume would be the train station. I don't know, but this is absolutely insane, and I really love this. Can we let's let's see if we can explore. Oh, that's a Oh, so we actually have spells that we can use. I don't quite know how to do that though. It looks like we don't really have a wand yet, so maybe we have to wait until we go to Hogwarts for that. I'm not too sure. So we're just gonna we're gonna continue on and maybe that'll be something they teach me at Hogwarts. I also assume we're getting on that bus. This is so cool. Alright, so we rode the bus and I believe we are now at the leaky cauldron. Yep, so we're gonna go inside here and it wants us to go to Diagon Alley. So uh just from my knowledge of the movies, I think we're heading out back and oh my god, that teapot is floating big old fire back here hope that doesn't burn the place down and that broom is also sweeping I have literally no idea how they did this this is insanely cool like what do you even have to put in the game to do this I didn't download any mods or anything so this is just whatever data packs they've put in the game all right I explored around a bit more and I found the entrance to Diagon Alley and also Hagrid so this guy is an Oh, oh my god. I don't even know how they make somebody that big in the game. Yeah. The, uh, the dialogues are definitely very interesting yeah. in this, too. They're all kind of straight from the movie or kind of just informational things. So definitely very interesting. And it looks like I just have to yeah. tap on the bricks over here. All right, which brick do I need to tap on? Oh, guess that one. All right. Is it working? Did I do it? Are we in? Is this Diagon? Oh my god. How do you put something like that in the game? An entire brick animation. That is insanely cool. Alright, so we have a few places we can go here, but Hagrid said we should go to the Gringotts Bank first, which should be down this road somewhere. When I downloaded this, I thought I was just downloading like a Hogwarts map download. I did not realize it was a huge game inside of Minecraft. Didn't even know you could do that. So this is very cool. I hadn't seen this before at all. No videos or anything. And I believe that that is Gringotts right in front of us. We're going to go in there and get some money and then we'll can do, we can do our uh, our shopping at the other stores. So we're heading to Ollivander's now to get our wand. Uh, and then we have a couple other stores that we have to go to now that we have money. And Ollivander's looks like it's actually right here. So that makes it very easy. Uh, so that's why we weren't able to do any spells before. We need a wand first. Alright, so we've managed to get our wand now. And now I think we can head over to some more stores. Can we actually do any spells with it? Ah. I think, yep, we actually have to go to Hogwarts and learn some spells first. But we have a wand. And we can flourish it. Look at that. I made a bunch of purple stuff appear. Alright, it is time to now buy our books. And I assume this is the place since it has all the books outside. And wow, this man is extremely ugly. I wish it wouldn't have zoomed in that much. 
All right, so I realize now that I'm probably gonna have to edit out most of these conversations and cutscenes just because this is probably gonna be a very long video and I might actually have to turn it into a series. So uh, I apologize if you wanted to see all the, the cutscenes and uh, conversations, but if you wanna check out the world download for yourself, we'll put the link for it in the description and you can download and play this whole thing yourself. All right, so we just bought all of our house robes and I'm equipping all those now in the inventory menu. Uh, controls, honestly, a little complex at first, but it's just not normal Minecraft. So as soon as you figure that out, they're super easy to use. All right, I guess we can actually, oh my God, we look absolutely ridiculous. How did they do this? Like what is, is the scarf a helmet? Is that how it works? I wish I had my regular inventory so I could see how they actually do this. This looks way too funny. And that wand looks tiny in my hand. This game is incredible. Alright, we just exited Diagon Alley. And now we have to make our way through London and actually find King's Cross Station. And all of this looks insane. Whoa, got a bit of a lag spike there. Uh, this is a huge map, so honestly, not surprised that we got a lag spike. But, oh my god. God, this is incredible. All the detail that went into this. You got Big Ben over there. I think that's Westminster. Don't know if all this is accurate to real London, but either way, it's insanely cool. All right, so we got a bit lost, but I think we're back on track now. And look at that. We got the London Ferris wheel even. And you can tell I have Optifine on because I am zooming in currently. Look at that. I think that's all what? White stained glass building that on the inside? Man, the detail in this world is absolutely insane. Alright, we have crossed the river, and it looks like, yep, according to my compass, it looked like we were getting pretty close. This is King's Cross Station. It looks like a train station. This thing, man, I just, I don't, look, there's even, there's pigeons on the ground and flying away. How do you, how do you do that? There's a dude reading a paper. Wow, I am lagging a lot right here. I think I can debug though. How do I do that? Is that F3 and A? Let's see. Yup, okay. Debugged, reloaded all the chunks. We are good to go now. All right, so we're looking for platform nine and three quarters and I'm assuming it's behind one of the, uh, I'm assuming it's behind all the gingers. Let's just go ahead and make our way over there. They'll help us. All right, so with the help of the gingers, we are now on platform nine and three quarters. Look at that. They've built the entire Hogwarts Express. I expect nothing less, but still, it's incredible. I bet everyone's wondering when I'm going to stop being amazed at this map and talking about how incredible it is. But I mean, come on. Look at this. The detail's insane. And look, Neville. This is Neville hmm. Longbottom. He's going to pay me a hundred bucks to find his toad. Hmm. So I guess now we have to look around the, the station for a toad. I think we're supposed to talk to the train conductor though. But maybe we should look around for this toad. That looks like a train conductor right there. Let's just talk to him first. We'll find the toad after. All right, so instead of finding the toad, I may have accidentally boarded the train and we are now going to Hogsmeade. I like how it all loaded in like regular Minecraft, but none of it looks like regular Minecraft. Just made us fall. What the heck was that? Alright, so here's Hagrid. So I think. Oh, yeah, he remembers me from Diagon Alley. Ooh, I'm a first year. So it looks like we're going to be heading to the boats with Hagrid. Alright, so it looks like. Yeah, I'm the last first year here, apparently. Everybody else is in a boat and taken off already. Alright, I guess we should probably hop in. Oh, apparently it's going to cutscene us. Ooh, a very cool cutscene at that. Got these little boats traveling. I feel like it's all camera work because those things definitely aren't moving. And oh my god, look at that. Hogwarts is looking insanely detailed. I wish it was like daytime so I could actually see everything. But, oh, it's all loading in again. This is extremely cool. Alright, I think that's where we're going to wrap up this part because I know this is going to take a lot more time and I don't think it's all going to fit into one video so let's wrap it up here staring at the beautiful castle uh, thank you guys so much for watching I know completely different video for this channel 
but really fun to do and we'll probably be doing more adventure maps in the future if this does well. So if you like this video, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this, be sure to check out the rest of our content and see how you like it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.